up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 11 of my 31 days of Halloween and I'm filming for you another haul. So this is my student lock-in or student sessions haul. So what that is, is, I don't know if they do it in other countries, but in the UK, in certain shopping centres, in certain cities, they have a student sessions night or a student lock-in night, whatever you call it, I don't really know. And so basically, majority of the stores or any stores that are going to appeal to um like students um have discounts they can but yeah majority of the stores average at around 20 percent off so it is a great time to stock up and the perfect thing about the student sessions in southampton is that they happen in october when all the halloween stuff is out so it's just like the best day of my life. So I go every year with my friend Paige, we hit up all the good places. We know so the main place I go every year is H&M. They always have the best Halloween stuff in Southampton. So yeah, I'm gonna start with H&M because it was incredible. So their discount was 20% off when you spend over 30 pound. And I definitely spent over 30 pound. So yes, also apologies for the noise. Pumpkin is, I don't know, just being her usual loud self. So apologies for that. So first thing I got is actually, ooh. It's from the kids section. I always check the kids section because their stuff is so cute. So I got this hairband, which is 2 dollars so it has little bats and ghosts and a haunted house and can I put it on without the label getting right in the way? Yeah, I just thought it would be super cute and I could wear it in my videos and yeah, it's just cute. I love it. A pair of earrings, they're not necessarily Halloween, but they are so gorgeous. So they're red metallic hoops that say bite me and the words have like slight blood drops on them if you can see that. These were $6.99 and I'm so in love. For, for the longest time I thought that because I have like stretched ears I couldn't wear hoops but I never thought I could just like stick it in under the hoop. It was only when I watched one of Toxic Tears videos I saw that she had something in under her hoop and I was like, or under her taper or whatever, I was like, oh my god, mind blown. So yeah, now I can wear hoops. Next up is the cutest thing of my whole entire existence. This is like the best thing I think I've ever bought in my life. So it is, this is the top, I'll move the label out of the way. It says witches, if you can see that. And so it's in the style of a cheerleader top. So it's got long sleeves, it's cropped, it's black and white. It zips up at the back, a matching skirt. I could be a spooky cheerleader. I'm so happy. I am literally gonna wear this all year round. No fucks are given. I'm gonna love it, it's gonna be so cute. Um, I'm going on a pub crawl this week, I think it's this Thursday. I don't know when I'm uploading this actually, it may very well be Thursday I upload this. I don't know, at some point I'm going on a pub crawl. Not a Halloween theme, just a pub crawl with a fancy dress theme. So I'm gonna go as a spooky little cheerleader and I'm so excited, it's gonna be so cute. My friend was supposed to do it with me but she dropped out because she said she didn't look good in the costume. So yeah. Lonesome cheerleader, gonna work it, I'm excited. Um, the top and the bottoms are both $12.99 each on those, just in case you were interested. Next up I got this skirt, and it is from the kids section, and I don't give a fuck. So, it looks like this, and so it's like, grey, it's grey underneath, and then there's a layer over the top, a sheer layer. Just a plain black sheer layer, but then at the bottom, it's got all of these little flying bats and it's um, all like misshapen at the bottom. It's so gorgeous and it is a kid's 8 to 10 but I can fit in it so I'm pretty fucking happy. And that was $9.99. Um, this would look so cute with just like a simple black top and then like a nice um, statement necklace. So that is hella hella cute. Up. I'm so fucking excited about these. I'm literally gonna live in these as it gets colder and I have like 9am lectures. I'm not feeling being outside. I'm gonna fucking live in these. They are pusheen, like pants, leggings, I, I don't know because they're like baggy. This is a size small, yeah. This is a small but they look big. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna live in these with like a nice little pair of boots and then like a big jumper. So they have Pusheen in a pumpkin, Pusheen as a bat, Pusheen as a ghost, Pusheen as another bat. Like I'm so fucking in love with these pants. Um, so they were $12.99, they go from an extra small all the way up to a large. So everyone in the world can fit in these pants, wear them every single day and love them. Yes. <laughs> 
I am just so in love with these. They are so cute. I'm mad obsessed. Next up, not from the Halloween section, just hella cute, is this little um, skirt. So it's like a little schoolgirl skirt kind of thing. It's blue and green and does up with a zip at the side. Um, and it's not mega short, which is why I bought it. I have two of these. One's like a tight one and it's short and one's like a like this and it's mega mega short so there's no way I could wear it so I found this and I was like yes woohoo finally I have one I can wear and this would look cute with like a black jumper and then a nice pair of tights and some boots so that is going to be cute while it's still not super cold outside but not hot then that would be cute piece of clothing from H&M is a bodysuit and it's a mesh bodysuit with a black velvet skeleton print on it so it is super sheer so I'll probably end up wearing um, a bralette or something underneath this and then wearing it with hot pants or a skirt or something like that but I just thought this was super super cute and I got that in a size small and that was $9.99 so that's a really good price for that I feel. So that is all the clothes from H&M then I just have two more pieces to show you. So the first is a necklace, and I saw this when I was queuing up, and I think this may be a kid's necklace, but I mean, who gives a shit? I'm gonna wear it, whatever it is. Whoever it's for, I'm wearing it. So it's like a big chunky acrylic necklace or charm, and it's black and glittery, and it says boo in like a drippy, pastel gothy type of font. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute, and that was $2.99. And then the last thing I got, now I'm looking at it, I think it might be kids because it looks pretty small. But it's like a little velvet hairband that's black with like a bow on it. So you could wear it, um, this was $2.99. So it would take a bit of styling but you know, you get the kind of cash idea. Very cute. Love it in the autumn time. Be very cute. This does feel really small on my head. So maybe it is kids but you know. I'll work it, I'll find a way to work it. So another place I went was Claire's Accessories and I went purely for one reason, um, because I had seen a witchy fashion. How cute, I'm so in love with this, so cute. Ooh, it's got a little holographic -y thing, I didn't even see that. So this was 14 pound full price, so that's why I waited for the student lock-in to buy it. I was not gonna pay 14 pound for this. I paid 10 pound 80 instead, which is still not a good price, but better than 14 pound. So she's just freaking cute and squish. So she's gonna live on my bed for the rest of her life. Her little tail, being cute, I love her. I then also, because you know I can't just go into a shop and buy one thing, I found a victory roll. Um, things so it's these little things and you pop them in your hair and you twiddle your hair around it there's instructions on the back and then it will make uh, victory rolls like this and I'm in love with like the pin up retro -y style uh, Dita Von Tees is like the most attractive beautiful gorgeous woman on the whole planet and she works pin up like no one else and she's a huge inspiration so I was like I'm gonna try these so yes that is Claire's accessories Next place I went was, oh, <laughs> Anne Summers. Their stuff is so cute. Like, I literally go there just to buy clothes that I'm gonna wear out, not like oh, underwear, ho oh, oh, ho, risque. Nope, I'm gonna wear that shit out. It looks cute. I did not pay all that money for only me to see it. So, oh, I picked up two things. Okay, so the first is, it has a really funny name. I don't know where the receipt's gone, but it was called like a Worship Me Witch that's what it's called worship me witch um, dress so it has um, mesh detailing here with a high neck it then comes down to so this is like the bodice and it has little lacy bits and then this is kind of sheer so I'm probably gonna have to wear some like something to cover my nips and then so it's got like a long torso and then just a really cute tall or netted skirt so it's gonna give like a really nice shape to my body hopefully I hope. So this was £28 and again they had, I believe it was a 25% discount in store um, on anything that wasn't sale and this is in their Halloween collection. Um, I'm probably going to wear this to like a goth night or something like that. Next time I go out besides that pub crawl I'm going to wear this because it's fucking gorgeous. And then the other thing I picked up is this. So it's like a little um, leather look bralette but it has uh, mesh or sheer panels at the back 
Um, again, this was £28, which is pretty pricey, which is why I wouldn't buy it um, normally, because it had 25% off. I picked it up, so that is so cute. Again, I will just wear this out as a top. Whoa, those bra straps are tiny right now. I need to extend the bra straps, but yes, so cute. Um, so this with, with like a high-waisted skirt, like a huge choker, some big stompy boots would look so cute. Right, the last two places or shops that I have stuff from, I didn't hit on the student sessions. Uh, Body Shop was in the student sessions, but we were too tired out by this point. I'd so I did not hit the body shop and I did not go to Lush either because they've just moved into the shopping centre but they weren't part of the thing and they didn't have the Halloween stuff so I was like, bye. So, but now they do. So anyway, so yeah, I didn't go to them on the student sessions but I'm gonna include them anyway because, you know, I need to get this stuff in. So, the body shop. They had a deal on, I literally went this morning after class and their deal was three products for £20. Um, so, obviously I went in, I heard about their vanilla pumpkin range, I had to try it. It smells fucking incredible. If there is any product that smells like Halloween, it's these. So I picked up two body butters, because they're £15 each, so already that's £30. And then I picked up a shower gel, which is £5. Um, I was going to get two shower gels because I thought they were £15 but they were 5 So ideally I would have got two body butter, no, one body butter and two shower gels but I would have saved more money by buying this, so I don't know. I bought it, she convinced me. So yes, I have two vanilla pumpkin body butters and one shower gel and then I got to the till and realised they had a vanilla pumpkin hand cream and I was like, uh, fuck yes, I need that. That was five pounds, um, so I'm pretty excited to use that. And the best part about all of these products, cruelty free, oh yeah. So yeah, super, super happy with these and I'm gonna need this hand cream it's so bad. We have so many huge deliveries coming up at work um, and the deliveries make my hands go all gross and blah. So yes, now I can be cute. And Jake is gonna love these body butters. I just know, I just know it. And I'm gonna smell like a pumpkin. And the last place is Lush Fighting Animal Testing. Hell fucking yes, Lush. So, I went on my lunch break yesterday because um, I knew their Halloween stuff was out. So I went a little crazy. I set myself a £30 budget and I spent £29.95. So I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, so I'm just going to go down the list, show you what I got and tell you how much it was. So I got the Metamorphosis Bath Bomb. I'm going to try and show you everything. So this was £4.50, one of the pricier items. So it looks like this. It smells... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this. I don't know smells. Um, when dropped into a warm bath, your bomb will fire away releasing its colour and beneficial essential oils. I think it just says that for every product. Metamorphosis. Then I have a pumpkin bath bomb. I bought two of these and these are four twenty-five. Um, I'm sure you guys know what these look like. I these every year. Thank God because I fucking love them. So it just looks like this, a little pumpkin, it smells like pumpkin, it smells like, you know, like lemon lollipops, that's what it smells like, so I dig that. Um, I got a pink pumpkin bubble bar, last year these were like golden, this year they're pink, I'm so down for that. I was trying to find the golden one, I couldn't find it anywhere, and then I got to the till and they had these right by the till and I was like, <gasps> smells really perfumey and really sweet and it's fucking glitter everywhere I'm obsessed yes so yeah love that that was did I say how much that was 425 then we have a bewitched bubble bar this is the cutest fucking thing you'll ever see get ready for this this was again 425 it's a little black cat with eyes oh it's a pumpkin I love it Smells really like mus musky. I don't know. Smells good. 
Then I have Monsters Ball Bath Bomb. I don't think I've ever tried one of these, so I'm really excited. Um, this was $4.50, so again, one of the more expensive ones. A little monster. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells fresh. It's making my nose tickle because there's so much dusty stuff coming off it. And then I have the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. And this is $3.95, so this is the cheapest thing that I got. I never tried this either, so it's bright green. This has less of a strong smell. I'm not sure what it smells of, but it's um, probably the, the softest smelling one. Um, so it looks like this. I'm pretty excited for that. The last one is another pumpkin bath bomb, which I already showed you. So that is everything I bought from the student sessions or just after the student sessions. Um, let me know down below if you are going to attempt to pick up any of these products that I've shown or if you have any of these already. Let me know what your favourite Lush bath bomb is and I will be sure to give it a try. I fucking love bath bombs, especially when they're Halloween themed. It makes them ten times better. So, yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Um, I hope you're enjoying my 31 days of Halloween. I'm trying so, so hard to get these videos out to you. But alongside that, I also have university, which obviously is like a priority because, you know, that's the main thing at the moment that I'm in my final year. Um, I also have my job, which I work either two to four days a week. Then I have work experience, which I have to get 100 hours done before the end of the year. And then I have YouTube. So I'm balancing a lot of shit right now, but I'm doing well. I'm having fun, having a good time. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Love having a chat with you. Yes. So join me tomorrow for more spooky content and I'll see you ghouls next time. Bye.